Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a big money Bolo video. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. I am Courtney, and I'm Bolo Buddies, and I have a new channel. It is called, well, it's not really new anymore. It's probably three or four months old, but it still feels new. Uh, it's called Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, and I put all of my sourcing videos over there, so like the thrift with me, garage sale hauls, stuff like that. So definitely go over there and check it out if you haven't already. And I am doing some what solds over there. I do have some uh, Bolo category videos over there. So I am intertwining some other things, but it's mostly sourcing. But um, yeah, check it out. All right. We are going to get started here with some big money Bolo items, items that I sold on eBay. These items were cross posted to um, Poshmark and Mercari and sold faster on eBay. I use this perfectly to cross post my items. And if you would like to check out how that works, you can check it out down in the description of the video. And if you'd like to try it, you can use referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month. All right, let's get started with some Bolo items. The first item I have to give credit to my husband for, but he gave credit to me because I told him to look for vintage perfume and he came home with this and he's like, you told me to look for vintage perfume. I found this today. Can you list it? <laughs> I'm like, yes. So um, I do list some things for him, but he does the majority of his stuff. But I went ahead and did, uh, I think he got two or three bottles. So I went ahead and did them. But he bought this at an estate sale for $2 and he sold it for a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. This is Replique Raphael Vintage EDT Perfume. Made in France. Vintage. Pretty cool. I like it when he listens to me and he comes home with the bolo items I talk about. Uh, the next item is this vintage Playmobil construction set. And this one sold for $45.99. And it did take a little while to sell, actually. I was surprised. I thought it was going to move a little bit quicker. Um, it's really cute how it fits right down in this box perfectly. And uh, garage sale, three bucks for that one. Another Berkham Bunny. I sold this one for $70 and the buyer paid shipping. And I have, I think, less than 50 cents in this. And I bought a whole bunch of these. If you guys have not seen the thrift battle on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel between Donatella Bottolino and I, definitely go check that out. That is a super fun video. And I talk about these bunnies. This one happens to be a blue tint milk glass, but some of them glow in the dark or not, not in the dark. They glow under black light. And I show you guys that in the video, the thrift haul video. So go check that out for sure. Um, these are Barbies. It's a Barbie lot that I picked up at a thrift store and I ended up lotting up a bunch of them, but I also sold some of the items individually. I'm kind of kicking myself now thinking I probably should have listed these a little bit differently, but I sold them for $89 plus shipping. And I sold some items individually, some clothing that I pulled off some of them. I had um, a boy doll made in Japan that had flocked hair that I sold for $30. So I did okay, but I probably could have sold some of these individually for, um, Four more. There were some in here that were pretty good. So again, I was kind of hoping it was going to go for more than um, $89, but that's okay. I still made money. The next item are these Wolf and Son pencils. These came from a garage sale. It was somebody who was getting ready to move and they had all this cool vintage stuff in the garage. I made a pile. So um, I'm guessing I had a dollar or less in each set and I did sell three sets to the same person. This set sold for 35. This set and this set, they paid um, 75. So 75 plus 35, help me out here. 75, 110, 110 for the three sets. And I had probably a couple bucks in all of it. It was just a great bundle deal. These blow molds I picked up at a thrift store for $6. Um, I think they were $6 each. And I sold them for $88 for the set. They The person ended up buying both of them. So $88, six into 88. I will take those margins all day long. 
Uh, this one came out of a dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. And it does have some, you know, little bit of stain, but this is an old vintage case. Now it's rare. It's an 18 by 18. It's a harder to find size. And I could not find this pattern anywhere on eBay. So um, I didn't check worth point or anything else, but I ended up taking a best offer of $45 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage Paris, New York Givenchy. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, clip on earrings. And I ended up taking a best offer of $70 on these and the buyer paid shipping. These came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay, my 344 pounds of jewelry. If you want to know more about that, I have a whole series on my channel. Like I have unboxings. I have where I picked it up. I have where I weighed it. So it's a fun series. Um, it did not get the attention I was hoping. I think most of my viewers like to see bolo items and actual solds and not really what I'm sourcing. So those videos probably would have done better on my new channel. But if you're into that type of stuff, I do have a whole series. So check that out. This Dora kitchen replacement utensils, plates, and bonus pretend play food. So some of these items go to the Dora play set. And then some of this other stuff is just play food. So I sold this in a lot and I sold it for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. And that came out of a mystery box. The next item is this Wizard of Oz Barbie. It's the Tin Man. And I picked him up at a garage sale for $2 and he sold for $47.99 plus shipping. This one, I love this one. It's a cookie monster. And I do have a video of how this works. And if you go over to my YouTube channel, Reseller Testing Products, you can see just how cool this guy is. I'm not going to play it right now, but definitely go check him out. And I added a video so that anybody looking at this listing can also see how this item works. Unfortunately, he only came with two cookies. He's supposed to have three. And I ended up taking a best offer of $60 on him. I bought this at three bags full consignment. I actually have a video of me sourcing this item over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So definitely go check that out. And I had $2 in this buyer paid shipping. The next item, item, item is, I cannot talk tonight, this vintage cloisonne, I had to think about it, beaded hand knotted necklace. And it is very beautiful, very cool. I got it at a thrift store and I paid $2.50 for this. And I sold this very quickly for $50. The beads are amazing. Um, I did use this to show people the size of the beads. I forget what this thing is called. Um, I don't know. I forget what it's called. Why can't I think of what it's called? I think I have a link to... Um, they're not very expensive. I think I bought it on eBay, but I think I have a link down below, which will probably tell you what it's called. Uh, um, but I sold it for $50. The next item I sold is this vintage ceramic Christmas tree um, with the snowy branches. And I cannot remember where I got this. It was either a garage sale or a thrift store. And I was support that seller Sunday in um, Dominic's group. Primetime Treasure Hunter has a big Facebook group. It's called Reselling Resource Center. If you guys are not in that group, definitely go join it. He does tons of reseller events to help people make money. And I got picked for support that seller Sunday. And one of the people in his Facebook group bought this tree off of me. They offered me $52 and I took that best offer and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item are these banana leaves. My mom gave me these a long time ago. I have been sitting on them, sitting on them, sitting on them, sitting on them for a long time. And they are super heavy duty. They are awesome. I can't believe they didn't sell quicker. But I finally sold them for a best offer of $60. And I was so happy to see them go because they're big. And the buyer paid the shipping. This troll doll actually belonged to my sister and I when we were kids. We had a troll doll collection. And I've got it marked 1977. But I think the neck or the underneath the chin or something says 80. So... I don't know if that's just like a patent date, but 
that was what I put in the title. And I've sold two of these the same way and didn't have a problem, but it's kind of like the Barbie dolls when they're marked and it's just the mold. So I'm not sure on that one. I don't know if it's 1977 or if it's 1980s. I'm guessing if it was mine when I was younger, it's 1980s. So anyway, um, this sold for a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Charming Tales, A Mother's Love, Blooms Forever, Fitz and Floyd, Special Edition Figurine. This I got at a thrift store for $3 and I took a best offer of $35 and it sold super fast. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lisa Frank. Okay, so the vintage is capital L and capital F. All right, I just wanted to confirm that before I said it. And this sold on auction for $64 and free shipping on that one. So could I have got more with a buy it now? I think so, but um, it's just a really neat piece. And I sold another one for over a hundred that I got at the same place. And this one has like a stamp in it. So I probably could have sold the stamps individually, actually. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I sold these Bakelite bracelets. These were also a part of the 99 cent free shipping challenge. Chosen goods resellers bought chosen goods reseller bought this off of me. And she also bought this ring. I should say she won the auction. She won this auction for 50 and this auction for 57 chosen goods reseller. I appreciate you. Thank you for your purchase. And I hope you enjoy your jewelry because it's super, super cool. Um, these Bakelite bracelets, I have a video where I actually test them and show you guys how to test things with semi-chrome. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel. I purchased these from Donatella Bottolino in a mystery jewelry box. If you want to see what else I got in that box, it was an amazing box. Um, she just picks stuff up and throws it in. So, um, I got pretty lucky with these Bakelite bracelets. And I also got lucky with some other things. So definitely go check out that unboxing. This ring came um, from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And this little thing, had it not been broken, I didn't even catch that it was broken. And they messaged me and they're like, will you take $35 because it has, the bee has a broken wing. And I'm like, what? Something's broken? I did not even catch it. And if you look at the picture, it has two wings. And if you look at mine, it has one. So unfortunately, this is a rare piece. They still offered me $35 with the damage, but I did have it up for auction for $69.99. And I have a feeling if it would not have been broken, I probably would have gotten that because again, it's a hard to find um, figurine. But $35, three into 35 was still great for a broken item. All right, you guys, these are my big money bolo items. I've got tons of bolo content on my channel. Um, I usually divide my eBay up into bread and butter and then big money. So for the people that are just looking for the easier to find stuff, that's on the bread and butter. And then the big money items and some of the big money items, I mean, they were what, 40 bucks. That's not huge money, but it's better than 35 or less, right? So I call them my big money bolos. Um, again, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching.